Salut mes amis, salut. Bienvenue en book time with Elvis avec moi, Marc. And Elvis is here somewhere as well. That's all you're getting from me. <laughs> Hello everyone. I uh, hope you're all doing very well. And uh, I just thought I would bring you a little video today with an update as to some of the things that I've got planned coming up in the year 2023. Can you believe we're already 23 years into the 21st century? It just feels like yesterday that I was celebrating the millennium although I don't really remember it that well, <laughs> which is a good thing, probably, of course. Uh, so yeah, 2023, what's coming out? Well, 2023 is, for me, and this channel at least, there's a running theme through it, and it's a French theme, hence the introduction there at the beginning. I will be taking a classic work of French literature and reading it every month. I want to diversify my reading, um, Perhaps some of you will not think it's diversified enough uh, because uh, it's still sticking with quite a lot of so-called dead white chaps, although this time they are, uh, what would you say in French, uh, l'homme blanc mort francaise? I don't know, forgive me. Uh, but they are this time uh, dead white French guys instead of mostly English ones. And I'm taking, as I say, a classic work of French literature every month, and I'm going to read it and talk about it. And that's what I'm going to do. And perhaps some people will join me. Perhaps they will not. Uh, it's up to them. It's up to you. Um, so starting off, kicking off the new year, I will uh, kick off with uh, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, uh, followed by Candide in February uh, by Voltaire. Uh, then in March, uh, I will have The uh, Mysteries of Paris by uh, Eugene uh, Sue. Then I plan in April to tackle Gargantua and uh, Pantagruel by Francois Rabelais, which should be interesting. Then May will be The Charter House of Parma by uh, Stendhal, followed up in June by uh uh, Gaston LaRue's masterpiece, uh, The Phantom of the Opera. July, Edmund Rostand's uh, Serrano de Bergerac. In August, to coincide with August of Adventure, I will be reading uh, The Three Musketeers. In September, uh, Le Liaison Dangereuse, or The Dangerous Liaisons, uh, by, uh, by somebody whose name escapes me. Uh, yeah, by uh, Pierre Charlat de La Salle, is it? I don't know. I can't read my own writing. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> je suis désolé. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. You better get used to this terrible French throughout the uh, throughout 2023. Um, then uh, October, we'll see uh, Gustave Flaubert's Madame Bovary. November, A Life by Forgotten. <laughs> it's terrible. This was a change, so I didn't write it down. Uh, it's A Life by a very well-known French writer of short stories, Guy de Montpassin. That's right, uh, a book called A Life. And then I wanted to finish the year as I started the year with Victor Hugo, so I'm going for The Quarterback of Notre Dame, otherwise known as The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, so yeah, that's the biggest, uh, those are the biggest plans, I suppose, or are they coming up for 2023? There are a few other things in the pipeline, uh, one of them will be uh, a surprise, uh, the other is that this channel is uh, making itself available as uh, both, both in a YouTube format as well as a podcasting format, now I know you can choose to listen, of course, to just the audio if you subscribe to the YouTube Premium, but not everybody does. Uh, however, in 2023, most episodes, as well as some extra content, will be available on the Book Time with Elvis podcast, uh, which, uh, as I say, will uh, it's, it's already up and running. Uh, it's on Apple Podcasts, it's on Google Podcasts, it's on Spotify, uh, and a few others, I think. So you can listen there, um, especially at the moment. It's mostly uh, me reading different works. I think a few episodes of the short story Saturday are on there. Uh, I'm going to continue reading 
classic works. I know that's not particularly popular in terms of viewership, but uh, the, the viewers that I've got seem quite dedicated and seem to enjoy them. So I enjoy them, and uh, so I'm going to carry on with that. And if you choose not to listen, then that's your loss, isn't it, really? You know, if you don't get to listen to my dulcet tones regaling you with wonderful stories from the masters, then uh, that, as I say, is very much your loss. <laughs> uh, I promise to be more humble in 2023. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, and as I say, there are a couple of uh, other surprises. There will be a couple of other announcements that I am not announcing yet because I am waiting on the various hosts or co-hosts to give me the go-ahead. However, generally speaking, I will be taking a little bit of a step back or plan to in terms of how much I get involved in uh, or get involved with uh, owing to the fact that uh, work has kept me quite busy and uh, hopefully um, at some point in the spring I would like to imagine that they will start building uh, my house which I think will also occupy some of my time although I won't be doing any building myself so hopefully it won't occupy too much time uh, at least I hope I won't have to do anything. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to begin. So, yeah. But I think it will be uh, an exciting year. Um, I've long wanted to get through uh, these uh, these French works. Um, I haven't ruled out others. Uh, I, I, ideally, I'd like to kind of structure my month uh, with a book that is uh, part of an event that I'm super interested in. One, one of these French books. And then uh, the odd buddy read here and there and also leave uh, flexibility for my mood reads because in the past I've announced uh, in advance so much saying I'm going to do this, this and this, I'm going to read this, this and that and I read this and this but not that and this and uh, you know I feel guilty about it so I'm going to ensure that what I announce that I read I can actually read it uh, and then there will be, uh, with wrap-ups and stuff, some of the odd surprises that I picked up as mood reads throughout the month. So that's it for now, I think. Uh, any further updates, of course, I will let you know. Um, the World Cup readathon has finished. That was great fun. It was won by uh, Argentina. So uh, everybody uh, now has to read a book uh, from Argentina. I haven't actually decided yet what mine's going to be. Uh, any suggestions, of course, please feel free to leave them uh, down below in the comments. And uh, also, yeah, let me know your thoughts about, uh, you know, uh, the, the fact that this is available, will be available as a, as a podcast alternative as well. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see more of on this channel, because, you know, basically I do do this channel uh, for myself. It's a kind of... Um, something to do I suppose uh, but you know as my audience has, has, has grown and I have a really wonderful uh, following then I do want to take in of course your feedback as well so please uh, feel free to let me know any feedback or any suggestions you may have or things you'd like to see more of uh, during 2023. Uh, I'm not gonna wish you all well because this isn't the last time I'll be speaking to you this year. I mean, I wish you all well generally anyway, but I'm not going to give out my uh, Merry Christmas and um, Happy New Year uh, salutations just yet. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, from Elvis and I, do have a, w a wonderful day and uh, we shall see you very soon indeed. Take care. Bye. Oh,